Hello and welcome back to the advanced changing mindset on losing meditation pack. The last couple of days we have focused on recognizing the emotion that losses cause in your trading and becoming aware of those emotions a little bit earlier so that when you're trading you can reduce them in the moment. This hopefully has already had some impact but you can only go so far in resolving the emotional issues. No matter how good you get at reducing the emotion down there will likely come a time that a loss hits you harder than expected and you spiral out of control. It's also very mentally draining to every day tell yourself to not be angry, not get frustrated, and no doubt you felt this in the past. So today, we're going to introduce a new concept that will hopefully completely resolve the negative emotions you feel, and therefore you don't have to put in that mentally draining work to prevent the emotion. As always, for the next 15 minutes or so, allow your mind to let go of the market and follow along with my voice. Let's start with some nice deep breaths. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Feeling yourself relaxing into the chair. And gently closing the eyes, giving your mind permission to be calm. Bringing the breaths back to normal and appreciating the present moment. Imagine a warm glow is shining down onto you. Your head and shoulders feeling pleasantly warm. And the glow slowly starts to creep down your body, warming and relaxing every part that it touches. Down through your chest, your abdomen, all the way down to your toes. And take a moment to enjoy the warm, relaxed feeling spreading throughout your entire body. Today, instead of visualizing previous losing trades, think back to a time you learned something new and how the first few attempts went for you. It could be something physical, like a sport, or it could have been something you needed to learn for a previous job. And what pretty much everyone finds out is that early on, you will make mistakes. If you take a snowboarder and they're trying to learn a new difficult trick, they're not going to land it on their first attempt. The best way to improve, especially when you're on your own, is to make a mistake figure out why it was a mistake and what caused it. Every time the snowboarder tries the new trick and fails, 
they learn more about how they will land it in the future. And if they don't learn from the mistakes, they will never change their technique, never make adjustments, and they'll keep on failing the trick. So take a moment to think back to that new thing you learned and how you used mistakes to improve. Consider how valuable each mistake was in getting better for the future. Now imagine if you could learn from every single loss you take when trading. Every loss is almost like a little golden nugget of information for you to learn from. It could be information about your strategy, or it could be about your mental performance. Every single loss will probably tell you something that you can improve on for the future. Think back now to a recent mistake you made in your trading and consider if you actually went back and tried to learn from the mistake. And if you did or didn't, let's just say that you're able to find out what was causing you to make that mistake. And if you've implemented that piece of information in the future, how much more profitable will you be? Your losses can provide you with the biggest edge in the market as you can learn about and improve your strategy, your execution, and your trading psychology. Take a moment to consider how powerful your losses could make you if you use them to learn and improve. And let's now bring focus back to the breath. Start counting the breaths. One as you breathe in, two as you breathe out. Just doing this up to 10 before starting back at one.
and now letting go of the counting, just allowing your mind to do whatever it likes. now bringing back that soft focus to my voice, letting the words flow in and out of your mind. Every loss is an opportunity for you to learn something new about your trading. It isn't fun taking a loss, but today you will try to feel excited that you can learn something new that will make you better in the future. The future profit from the lessons you learn are far greater than the amount you lose in any single trade. See each loss as an opportunity to get better. You can use them to your advantage. What will your trading look like in three months time if you approached every loss like this? You'd cut down a lot of the emotional trades after taking losses, and your strategy and execution could have improved massively. You can improve so much over the next few months just by seeing every loss as a golden nugget of information. And how will you feel outside of the market with this approach? Maybe more motivated and excited at your potential rather than being disappointed in your day's results? And you won't be carrying around a negative emotional baggage from a losing trade. Take a few moments to let those thoughts settle. Focus in on one or two ideas that make losers seem exciting and beneficial for you. And let's take a last couple of deep breaths. Becoming aware of your surroundings again. Feeling your chair more clearly. And open the eyes fully awake. So this isn't really a radical approach to losers. 
you've likely heard it or similar before, but you really want to actively think this way when you take a loss. Doing so will cut out that negative emotion far more efficiently than just willpower. And when you do go and review losers, you can learn from them and gain so much information, you'll probably be shocked if you haven't done it before. Every day is just about taking one small step forward. So today, really focus on whatever idea made taking a loss sound good, almost exciting, however strange that sounds, and try to carry that with you in your trading today. Best of luck in the markets, and I'll see you again for tomorrow's meditation.